hey guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl Misha Wang and if you're new here then welcome join the family click the subscribe button down below all right so guys uh as you should know i my birthday will be coming up in october so i am kicking off the month of october with my birthday makeup series so for the five saturdays in october i will be doing makeup for birthday like get ready with me birthday looks featuring the makeup looks uh i may do some outfits i don't know but uh stick around for the series for the four saturdays in october i will be doing their birthday makeup looks so look out for that i am not sure i think it's four saturdays but if it's five saturdays then i'll do it for the five saturdays for my birthday people celebrating their birthday in the month of october with me all right guys so i'll be doing my birthday makeup series so stick around for that uh this is a look that i did today if you want to see how i achieved this look then stick around all right so guys i want to start off this video by saying i hope that you all are taking good care of yourselves i want to wish my labor queens a happy birthday my scorpio queens a happy birthday when it comes and all my birthday celebrants for the rest of the year happy birthday guys all right so let me get into this look guys regrettably i lost the video like i i searched i just couldn't find the video where i was doing my transition how i did my eyes as you are seeing them no but i'm doing the cut crease now but i am going to explain to you exactly how i got this shade on my lids for my transition shade i used a neon pink pigment for the transition so i applied that on my eyes for and build up on it so guys when i say i build up on the transition shade like i added and added and added the pigments on my eyes until i got the shade that i wanted and i have these pigments selling so you can check out my ig for these pigments if you want them all right so i did that i added the neon pink for my transition and then a little bit above it and that's near the eyebrows i added a little orange i took some orange from my current case macbook palette and just added it there and that's why at the tip like near my eyebrows at the tip it is looking like kind of orangey pinky like that kind of vibe that's why you're, that's why you're getting that vibe there because i added a little bit of orange there at the tips all right so that's all i did and i now cut the crease using my p louise rumor one base uh i used the p louise base because i'm gonna be adding pink on my lids and i wanted something light because the pink is going to be light to show up the pink uh, on my lids so guys when i think about makeup forgive me all i think not makeup when i think about birthdays all i think about is pink like i just think about girly and girly and girly stuff i don't always think about girly stuff but for when when i think about birthdays i think about pink and i think about diamonds and i think about glitters so for the first two videos that i've that i'll be doing for the birthday series they're like glitters have incorporated glitters in the look all right so for the pink i use my current case macbook palette as i said and i also use my beauty treats palette to add some pink to that as well i, I really love the colors in the beauty treats palette it's a really inexpensive palette so you can always go and get that palette and use the, the the colors that are in there if you want bright colors because the palette does contain some bright colors i'm using the burnt orange for my outer lid there from the beauty treats palette because i didn't want to go back in with any pigments or to go back in the crayon case palette to get more orange so i just use the burnt orange from the beauty treats palette so the, the the colors in the beauty treats palette it's workable guys 
in order to get the colors popping all you need to do is to use a good base for your colors so say for instance you want a really bright green color and on your lids and you don't have the, one of those expensive palettes you can go ahead and use a green primer or green uh, eyeshadow base and then you put the green eyeshadow over the the base that you used right so tip in order to get your color popping you don't have to get one of those expensive palettes you can use a base that is near to in color to the color that you want to use so if you want to use green you can use a green eyeshadow base and then you put the green on top of the base and you'll have your colors all right so i did add some glitters and these are white glitters these are white chunky glitters and i am really surprised with how these glitters look because i thought like these glitters are going to like dampen the look a little bit it's not going to have my eyes popping as how i'd want for my eyes to be popping but just look at how these glitters are shining and you can get these glitters as well from beauty marked by wang on instagram the link will be in the bio you can check that out for any glitters that you want and pigments but guys as i was saying i think i wanted to add some pink glitters but i didn't have them on hand at the time and so i said i'd use some white glitters and i i really loved how they turned out i i've been using my superstay maybelline superstay for my foundation and that's what i used today i've been using my maybelline concealer as well for my highlights and that's what i'm using for my highlight today everything will be in the description for my contour i'm gonna be using my la girls uh concealer for my contour but guys i really loved the way my skin turned out and i'm gonna share with you one thing that you need 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 to be doing in order for your makeup to be to look good because the makeup can do so much and no more you need to do your part in making sure your skin is in top shape all right so i recently started using a mask i i did so i started using a mask on my face and i did say in one of my videos i think it was the makeup lovers tag videos that i started doing something i started some new skincare routine and I'm gonna be trying them out for I'm gonna be trying that out for a month before I share any results with you because I wanted to give it enough time to work. I think it's almost a month now. Maybe I started the third. I don't remember when it was the beginning or the ending of August and September. But it's soon time for me to do that review. And guys, I'm really loving how my face is looking. I think that's one of the reasons for my makeup to be looking so smooth even toned and just just good yeah makeup look good though <laughs> all right so right i'm gonna be sharing that video with that, that those results uh from the mask that i've been using with you in a video coming up sometime from now so look out for that one thing that i noticed with my makeup after doing the video is that there is that glitter on my lash there like after doing the video after doing my makeup i do go ahead i do go and use my spoolie to kind of ease the glitters off of the lashes or if it's messing up anywhere on my face like get it off of my face but i guess you miss some sometimes and so there is the glitter on my lash so guys take care for that kind of thing look out for those kind of things all right so right now i added some just a little bit of pink on under my uh waterline i re guys like <laughs> i don't know it's just something that i don't like even though it's something that you are supposed to do to get your look blended and seamless whatever bring your look together add the colors from the from your lids to your under your waterline but i really don't like to put colors under my waterline so when i do it's just a little bit of colors from the from the from the blending brush that i'd use 
to just add a little bit of color so i did that and add a little bit of pink under my waterline i added some black in my waterline because i didn't want for this look to scream drama if i added white then it would get my eyes popping open up my eyes some more and i didn't want that so i add black to my waterline i'm now doing my highlighter and i'm using my mm, anastasia beverly hills glow kit and these are the areas that i apply highlighter to i'm almost at the end of this video i Mm, I'll be using nude on my lips that's my favorite thing for my lips is nude as well all right guys so this is the finished look but we are not done yet I am gonna be doing my shout outs and my comment of the day goes to Madloon share the wealth i want for you guys to check him out on youtube and also miss mutty with her post notification shout out like she's always one of the first to jump on my videos so thank you guys for that and check them out guys all right so dolls this is my finished look uh how do you feel about this look do you think it's birthday appropriate do you think it's birthday ready how do you feel about this look? let me know in the comments don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl for more videos like this one guys remember please share my videos bye